Hello, today I'm going to cover cloud computing and service oriented architecture. How cloud computing is again um, uh, relate with service oriented architecture and uh, to understand this particular topic, we are going to cover a uh, web service framework. Uh, after completion of that web service framework, we'll see uh, one live demo uh, on how to develop the web service and for that we are using uh, java technology using axis implementation and uh, after completion of web service in java how to invoke that web service uh, in different technologies first we'll cover in java um, using java client access client and after that uh, we are, uh, we'll cover with the help of asp.net and php client so we'll understand the interoperability features. So uh, let's start. Uh, first, we'll understand the cloud computing. As we know that cloud computing is a pay-per-use model. As the name suggests, uh, whenever we are using different cloud resources, and the cloud resource may be software as a service, platform as a service, or infrastructure as a service. So whenever we are using these services from cloud provider, then we have to pay for use. Jitna hum use karenge, so for that use, we have to pay the charges uh, to the cloud provider. And uh, how that cloud provider uh, get the idea that uh, what the user want, so user, um, uh, on demand network access means whenever a user wants uh, the network resources or uh, services, then user uh, visits a cloud provider website and through that website, the user put his demand on cloud provider website and share the required resources and that resources may be network, servers, storage, application and services. Here, our topic is cloud computing and service oriented architecture. So implementation of that service oriented architecture with the help of web services and to upload uh, or to deploy these web services, we require uh, the cloud infrastructure. So cloud infrastructure we are using for deploying the uh, web services. So. Uh, this is what the cloud computing. Cloud computing is paper use model. Uh, whenever you require any resources, you put your uh, demand on cloud providers in the uh, website. Next, uh, service oriented architecture. Service oriented architecture is a architectural style, just like uh, we know that uh, in software engineering or after uh, completion of that software engineering, object oriented analysis and designing uh, is also one of the architectural style. And in uh, object oriented analysis and designing, we have seen that we uh, reuse the object. So reusability of object is one of the major advantage of uh, object oriented analysis and designing. So that reusability features just provide the reusability of object in the same technology. If I have developed the application in Java, I can use uh, that Java object in Java technology itself. But suppose I want that Java object in .NET, in PHP, in Python, then it is not possible. And that uh, feature is again supported by the new, uh, new uh, architectural style called service oriented architecture. Service oriented architecture support the features. So if uh, I have a Java object, so that Java object can access with the help of different technologies, .NET, PHP, or in even Java. So what is service oriented architecture? Service oriented architecture is a, a model. Uh, in that model, we write uh, the logic, business logic, automation logic in small, small pieces. For a single functionality, we write a small uh, logic to fulfill that particular functionality. And uh, uh, 
we develop the web services for implementing this service oriented architecture and this small web services when we connect when we integrate this web services uh, to each other so we'll get a large unit large piece of business automation logic so that unit of logic is nothing but the web service a small web service in service oriented architecture so uh, the main important topic is web service framework how these web services are again developed how these web services are again deployed how these web services are again consumed by the user so for that this triangular model is used as a web service framework and in this web service framework some technology terms um, are uh, included for example soap soap is simple object access protocols rest is representation state transfer protocol json javascript object notation visual web service uh, definition language uddi universal description discovery integration so these are the terms which are uh, used generally in web service framework uh, let us uh, uh, learn this web service framework step by step so this web service framework is uh, made up of three major component the first component is service provider second component is registry and the third component is service consumer so web service framework uh, is used for implementing or developing the web services and uh, that is one of the example of service oriented architecture so first part the uh, first component of uh, web service framework is service provider uh, what uh, job is again uh, uh, executed by service provider is service provider write the required logic for that web service if you want to develop the web service then as a service provider your role is service provider and you write the required logic uh, of that web service uh, and um, uh, for uh, writing the web service different technologies are again used different technology provider provided the technology for writing the web services so we are using that technologies for writing the web services and uh, after completion of this i am going to show you the demo how to develop the web service in java and that technology is provided by axis implementation so axis is what the implementation providers they provided the technology of developing the web services so as a service provider i am writing the logic business logic service logic and develop the web service when the web service is ready you uh, execute that web service execute that web service means whenever the ex uh, web service is again executed uh, the service provider uh, provides some tools and that tools help in creating the wisdom files wisdom files are web service description language file that with the wisdom uh, files are again um written with the help of xml only so xml language so that wisdom is again um, auto generated with the help of tools so uh, the service provider write the service logic and then convert that logic into uh, he generate the wisdom and the entry of the wisdom the first point is service description using wisdom and that wisdom is registered in a central location central repository uh, called registry so uh, this registry is again um, uh, available in internet uh, uddi.org and in that uddi.org uh, you registered your wisdom file uh, and after registering that wisdom means now the service consumer can access that wisdom with the help of registry which is uh, available on cloud server so for that we required cloud servers infrastructure and uh, using that infrastructure uh, as a client as a service consumer i am using the cloud resources and searches the required wisdom file of that web service so wisdom file for uh, searching that wisdom file you just give second point uh, registry query and if you found found the wisdom file 
then you uh, give the reference of that visual file in your uh, document in your uh, program so here the two programs are written one program is written by service provider and uh, he developed the web service he registered the visual in registry and the second task is uh, as a client as a consumer i am writing a separate program for invoking that web service so while writing that service consumer uh, or client application i have to include i have to uh, give the reference of that visual in my client application so client uh, you start developing the client application in any technology uh, if the service is developed in java so you can write uh, in java in uh, php in python or in dotnet so you use any technology that supports the web services so uh, service consumer uh, writes um, the client application to invoke the service uh, and in that client application you have to give the reference of visual document so that is very important and i when uh, uh, through that visual document uh, in xml you give the request to the service provider so user parameter you pass the parameter to the uh, service provider for example i am showing you i am um, covering the calculator uh, uh, web service example so service provider write the calculator logic create the visual store that visual in registry and as a service consumer i have to pass the uh, user parameter to the service provider here the user parameter is the two numbers so i am providing two numbers and i am expecting addition subtraction multiplication and division of that numbers from the service provider so same request i am giving with the help of visual document and uh, through that visual document xml uh, uh, so service provider accept my uh, parameter uh, the two variables value and process that uh, if i am authorized then only it process uh, the the required uh, the request of the user and uh, service provider gives uh, you uh, the response uh, in xml language itself to the service consumer so service consumer uh, received the uh, response from the service provider and that response received in xml language and he display that uh, xml response in proper uh, format with the help of client application so this is what the web service framework a uh, web service framework uh, uses uh, the term called soap soap is what simple object access protocol in simple object access pro protocol the request is given in the form of uh, xml document 1069 is what uh, the account information i want from the service provider and service provider providing me the xml service response in xml only so soap supports only xml response if i used uh, the rest protocol uh, rest protocol is again uh, used for developing the advanced web services and uh, rest protocol provide me uh, the option uh, i can get uh, the response uh, in xml or uh, if i want the response in json javascript object notation still i am getting the response for Uh, in JavaScript object notation, the XML notation and uh, JSON notation. So JSON is uh, much more uh, advanced than uh, XML. So JSON is again having uh, more advantages. So uh, after uh, this, I am going to show you uh, the demo uh, how to develop the uh, web services in Java. Thank you.